Well, there, there, Queenston never did have any any great amount of, of uh, activity as far as commercial activity was concerned. There was always the post office and a small store up at the top end of the main street. There was one one small garage, and I'm not even sure that he pumped gas back in those days. It, I think they did. They actually had a, a service station that you could get gasoline there. Uh, other than and, the, and of course the the dock, it was a hub of activity all summer. But in the winter time, there was uh, there was really very little going on in Queenston. Now, now mind you, if we came into Niagara on the Lake in those days, there were a number of other stores that were still open, like hardware and shoe store and clothing, you know, regular a regular small town. But it was, the town didn't look like it looks today. <laughs> People often say, don't you, don't, they'd like to see Niagara Lake as it used to be. Well, when you come into town, even those of us off a farm couldn't get over the stench of Jack Green's livery stable. He didn't use much bedding for those horses. <laughs> and it was pretty strong. But, uh, and of course, because the, of the camp being here, the air, area from the Prince of Wales back toward what is now uh, the, the theater, that was just a, a shooting gallery, really. It was, there wasn't much there. In fact, where the Shaw Theater sits now is where I went to Boy Scouts. There was a scout lodge there, just a small building. That, and Mr. Young, who used to run the Niagara Advance, was our scouter. And he, he brought us in from all of, a lot of us from out in the township as well as the town guys. So we did we did come in and do that back in the in the early fifties.